So all that remains now is for us to get a truckload of table coral and cram it in here. So here, take this and that. Give me these. Oh, you know what? That actually fits nicely. Take those four deep shroom spores, two blood vine. Now I'm going to go, like, grab a truckload of table coral and we're going to haul it. We don't have any acid mushrooms. You know what? We're not going to need them. Hey, Oprah fish, if I tickle you, will you always tickle your Oprah fish, though? I'm going to tickle her again. Coochie coochie. Yeah, that's you know what I want, Oprah. That's probably good. We tickled Oprah. Now find me some more table coral, enough to fill my inventory, and then let's get our hells. Let's get out of here. We can go back down to deep base where we belong. Always tickle your Oprah, though. That's my kind of table coral. This one just gives up and lays down. Thank you for making it easy on me. I don't want to have to chase you. It's the same way I like my ladies. Just give up and lay down. I don't want to have to chase you. It's too much work. That's the way Harvey Weinstein likes them, too. That's probably enough table coral. All right. We are fully loaded. Let's grab our sea moth, cram it in our cyclops, refuel the cyclops, and get the hell out of here. Tickle me Oprah coming to stores near you. Tickle me Oprah would be great. You tickle her and she just starts giving out car keys. <laughs> you get a car and you get a car and... Who wouldn't want to tickle me Oprah? That's good. Take those online systems and cram them into this Cyclops. Nope. Okay, Cyclops is fully loaded. This bad boy is 100% powered up, I believe, correct? You should be at full power. Yep, at full power. Exactly what we want. We forgot the most important thing, though. Always honk the horn. Actually, if Tickle Me Oprah was a thing, you know it would sell like hotcakes, though. Like, those would be flying off of shelves faster than they could keep them in stock. Tickle Me Oprah would be the new toy of the Christmas season. It would be the hottest thing since Tickle Me Elmo. Alright, now comes the long-ass, boring-ass journey back to where we came from. Also, we should probably eat a whole tree while we're here. Perfect. Alright, let's do this. Pilot the old sub. Crank up the engines. Give me my conning tower view. Don't ram the mobile vehicle assembly bay, please. I said don't ram it. Hashtag lava zone time. Tickle me Oprah oddly made me think of how absurdly odd a female version of the Pillsbury Doughboy would be. What, you're not down with the dough girl? Hashtag dough girl. Hashtag dat girl dough. Get it? She's female dough. That girl dough. What's wrong with the Pillsbury Dough Girl? I, I have no problem with that. It's a little, you know, non-traditional, but who says the Pillsbury Dough Boy doesn't deserve love? What did he ever do that made him undeserving of love? Why can't the Pillsbury Dough Boy find happiness? I think that's kind of cruel, you chat, to deny the Dough Boy a partner. Not that the Dough Boy's partner necessarily has to be a Dough Girl. I don't want to cast judgments on the Dough Boy. Whatever he's into. Hashtag Dough Girl, hashtag feminism. The reason it's not a Pillsbury Dough Girl is because then every commercial is a record of recurring assault. 
Well, in the immortal words of Harvey Weinstein, Chad, I mean, it's only assault if she's not into it. Maybe the Pillsbury Dough Girl likes it when you poke her in the stomach. Maybe she's looking for an excuse to giggle. Also, how is it not assault when they poke the Pillsbury Dough Boy, too? Just because he giggles every time they do it doesn't mean he likes it. Maybe the Pillsbury Corporation is actually one of the greatest, uh, like, sex offenders of all time. Their constant, unrelenting assault on the Doughboy. He's like, hey, you know what? No means no. And then they just poke him, and he's like, hee hee hee! And then they think it's okay because he giggled. What if he only giggles to hide his shame and terror, chat? Did you ever think about that? Hashtag save the Doughboy. Pillsbury Doughboy's got a rough life, I'm telling you. I feel sorry for him. Chat, you have you have actually ruined the Pillsbury Doughboy for me now, though. Because now I realize that he's a prisoner. There's a reason he wears that little weird sailor outfit. It's because he's got, like, serious dimorphism. He hates his own body. I pity the Pillsbury Doughboy. All right, so we got to try and remember where that hole we... Where was the hole we used to get down there? I really need to be... Thank you, in Conning Tower View. Those doe girls, they know what they signed up for. This is Hollywood. That's fucking cold, chat. The Pillsbury Corporation is a sexual predator, and you're enabling them. I can't condone that. Get wrecked, Swagtopus. Oh, you gonna attack my submersible, Swagtopus? Alright, motherfucker. Nobody touches my submersible, especially not when that somebody is a Swagtopus. You're fucking going down. I'm coming out of the sub. Where you at? Where'd you go, you piece of shit? I saw you, Swagtopus. Oh, there he is. You think you're getting away? You think it's that fucking easy? You think you get to come up in here and start a ruckus and not face the repercussions, Swagtopus? No, no, no. Get your ass over here. Yep. This is what happens to Swagtopuses that touch my ride. They're gonna get cut. Yeah, who's fucking sashimi now? Nobody touches my ride. Fucking piece of shit. You want some too? You know what, Warper? You motherfucker, you want a piece too? Let's do this. Come get a taste. Actually, he fucking warped me. How the hell did he do that? I like how other YouTubes are afraid of Swagtopuses, but Pete just goes and fucks them up. I will not. Nobody touches my ride, chat. Now I got to go find a damn hole and fix it. You mess with my ride, man. That's just it's, it's an unacceptable behavior. You don't mess with a man. Actually, it's fine, though. Like the sub isn't even he didn't even scratch the paint. I may have overreacted a little bit. May have overreacted a little bit. Much respect for getting in knife fights with undersea monsters. Oh, I'll cut a bitch. Back to our original task, which was finding the hole we came out of. It sounds like a, like a weird incest reference. That's not the way I meant it. We're trying to find a path back down to the Degrassi sea base. It was difficult getting in and out of here. It's got to be, like, around this area somewhere. Don't even think about touching my ride, Warper. I'll gut you like I did that swag to pose. You're nowhere near as swag as he is. You saw what happened to that guy. I'm fucked up. 
You want some too? One-eyed weird ass fish? People be touching my ride, I'm telling you. That alert may actually have been for the ghost leviathan. No, it, it was the swagtopus. They saw him. They're like, Petey's touching your ride. He's going to touch the ride. And I'm like, you know what? Swagtopus got to die. There's not enough room in this town for two people to be swag. There's me and the swagtopus. And one of us has got to go. Unfortunately for the swagtopus, I have a stasis rifle and don't know how to drive a submarine. What am I hitting? I shouldn't be... What? Like I'm all buried against something? Just go around. Rig for silent running? I mean, I... I don't think silence is really our issue. We want to go this way? We got to look for the green slop again. That's that's our goal. Can we go to the bottom view? Oh, here we go. There's the slop river. We're almost back. Okay, we're almost back already. That didn't take anywhere near as long. It took way longer to get out than it did to get back. So where's the giant severed head? We need that as a uh, navigation tool. We want to go this way. Whoops. Jelly Rays, I'm not going to kill you because you know you're peaceful folk, but I still feel compelled to give you an advisement. Don't fucking touch my ride. I know you're a peaceable bro. Also, that one seems to have its eyeball poking out of its skin, though. That was real weird. You need to have that looked at, man. You got to go to a doctor or something. That's fucked up. Stabbles for the swaggles. I love it. I guess he's not a swag topus anymore, is he, Chad? He's a stab topus. Get wrecked. Mr. Jellyman, don't even bump my wheels. You scuffed the paint on this, and I'm going to carve that liver right out of you. I know exactly where it is because I can see it. Surprised you haven't dropped a beacon on the giant severed head yet. We already investigated the severed head and stole all the data that was in the little like research chamber behind it, so we're, we're good in that regard. We've done everything that one needs to do to the severed head. Unless it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head, in which case we need to extract it from inside a box. And then uh, shoot Kevin Spacey, probably. That whole Kevin Spacey thing takes on uh, even new and more sinister light in, you know, in the context of recent events. Scan the river eel. Uh, we've scanned basically all the stuff down here, haven't we? Pretty sure we have. we scanned all this stuff. There's titanium everywhere down here. Pete, your voice reminds me of Danny McBride from Eastbound and Down. You take that back. Them's fighting words, chat. American Beauty used to be one of my favorite movies, too. You know, it can still be one of your favorite movies, Chad. Just because the actor in it did a bad thing doesn't make the art any worse. The Mona Lisa would still be a cool painting if you found out that the Mona Lisa liked to fucking poison children. Like, if the picture of the woman in the painting poisoned children, it doesn't make the painting any less beautiful. It just makes her a piece of shit. Pete, are you saying the woman in the Mona Lisa poisoned children? Well, you know, I'm not not saying that. You can still appreciate a piece of art just because one of the people who was in it was not particularly likable. I 
Night, you fiend. Thanks for coming by, bro. So we're back. The Usual Suspects is still a good movie. It doesn't mean that Kevin Spacey is a good human being. It just means that a good movie is still good. You're right, because there's a lot of despicable people involved with The Usual Suspects. Brian Singer is kind of a piece of shit, too. But you're right, just because Brian Singer and Kevin Spacey turned out to be kind of pieces of shit. And I think while we're throwing pieces of shit around, we might as well chuck Stephen Baldwin onto that pile, too, because why not? But just because those guys turned out to be douche nozzles doesn't make the movie bad. It's still a great piece of cinema. It just features a bunch of scumbags. What did Brian Singer do? Oh, pretty much the same thing Kevin Spacey's down for. Seems to have a proclivity for touching little boys. American Beauty subject matter sort of makes it related to the Spacey thing and thus a little extra distasteful. Or maybe it's just extra appropriate. So this thing, we brought the, you know what, we're just going to we'll leave this in a Cyclops. It has materials in it though we want, right? Like we put some stuff in your storage that we're going to need. Yeah. Let's empty that out. And then we'll just go repark the Seamoth. The Seamoth basically is exclusively for getting back and forth. To our upper base. You know what? Actually, hold on a second. We should swip this different. We should park the Seamoth at the base because we're going to want to take the prawn suit down deep with us. Like, the prawn suit needs to go down. So let's put the prawn suit in the Cyclops and then we'll jack the Seamoth back in the base. Because the Seamoth is never going to be useful any deeper. It's at its maximum operating depth. The Seamoth is just a taxi cab now. Hey, we can grapple our way into the Cyclops. Cool. Won't be able to take the Seamoth into the Lava Zone. We have no plans on it. That's why I'm swapping them out. We can take the Prawn Suit into the Lava Zone because it can go... It can operate at that depth. But the Seamoth is... It's as deep as it's ever going to go. Ouch. Yeah, that's... It's hot. Thank you. Fire hot. I needed the reminder. And then we can just park the Seamoth in here. And there we go. Problem solved. Now we got to build a vehicle modulation station. Modulation station, what you're facing? Uh, we could use some silver ore, actually. In fact, we may need silver to build the thing we came down here to build. We need a computer chip. We need gold and copper wire. I guarantee we have both of those things. There's gold. I stuck copper wire in here somewhere. There it is. Build me a computer chip. And then what else did we need for the mod station? We need titanium, diamond, and lead. We have all that stuff. So, lead, check. Titanium, check. And I know I have, I have a diamond around here somewhere. There it is. Titanium, diamond, and lead. All right, modulation station, get built. We're just going to stick it here. The thermal charger for the Cyclops might be worth it. That's actually a really good idea, chat. We should do that, too. For the depth module, Mark 1, Cyclops. Do we have a depth module in our Cyclops? Hold on a second. It may have one already. Oh, we gotta build a, we gotta build a mod station in here too, though. Where is that again? Uh, vehicle upgrade console. We need another friggin' computer chip. All right. Well, we have all the stuff. So it's copper wire, which takes two copper, one gold. We need some titanium. 
more do are we out of copper thought I had more copper than this yeah I definitely have more copper than that so copper wire Another computer chip. Actually, I forgot what we were trying to build. Oh, we need just more copper wire. Right, okay. More copper is not in that box, though. Copper's over here. Make more cut. You know, one thing this game really needs is, like, advanced recipes. For instance, say I wanted to build a reactor rod. If it had sub-assemblies, like the computer chip requires copper wire, rather than force me to make the copper wire and then make the computer chip, if I have all the, like, low-level ingredients for this, I should be able to just click computer chip, have it auto-convert to copper into copper wire, and then build the chip for me. That's a little bit of a nitpicky thing, but it would be a nice little addition. And there's no real reason for it to not do that. So where can I build this? How come it always has to face right up against a wall? Can I rotate that? Nope, it will not rotate. Like it wants to be built in the worst possible... Okay, whatever, just build it. It doesn't really matter much to me where it is. So the prawn suit... I didn't remember, what was it I was going to build over here? The prawn suit thermal reactor. We need kyanite for that. We wanted to build the thermal reactor for the cyclops, but we can't build that here. We can't build torpedoes now, which is nice. We need to, so we still wanted that. Where do we build the thermal reactor for the cyclops? Is that on the mod station? No, the only thing we can build here. Where do we build the thermal reactor for the Cyclops, Chet? The only thing we can build here are depth modules. No, I don't want to put a wall there, though. No, I don't want to deconstruct my hatch. Oh, I accidentally hit Q and, like, started to deconstruct my hatch. Yeah, let's not do that again. I don't think the Cyclops has a thermal reactor. The thermal reactor's for our base. We already have one. No, there is a thing. He's there is the thing that lets you charge the Cyclops at thermal vents. That's that's definitely a thing. I just don't remember where you build it, but it does exist. Oh, you know what? It might actually be on the Cyclops because there is a building thing that lets you build Cyclops mods on the Cyclops. It's like over here, I think. This thing. So what do we have in this? We have efficiency module and depth module. So where's the... Oh, it's probably this thing, right? Nope. There's something on here that lets us build upgrades. I know it. Is it over here? Fabric, this is it. Cyclops upgrade fabricator. This is what we're looking for. So depth module, mark one. Efficiency module. Shield generator. I mean, that just seems cool. Sonar upgrade. Don't care. Docking bay repair module. Repairs vehicles docked within the Cyclops. That's really cool. We should build one of those. A fire suppression system. A decoy tube upgrade. And Cyclops thermal reactor module. That's what we want, but we need kyanite for it, and we can't build it. So we need kyanite. So what upgrades do we have in this? We have the Mark One depth module, which we need. Yoink. Oh shit. You're right. No, I'm sorry. Are we leaking? No. So yeah, we're gonna have to build a fresh one of those because we're such a deep depth we can't take it out to upgrade it. That's a problem. What does it take to build one? A plasteel ingot and three rubies. We got all that shit. That's fine. 
So we need to go just find some titanium. I mean, titanium is fucking everywhere, though. This place is lousy with titanium. Actually, do we even have, like, we probably have some stored titanium in here, don't we? The plasteel ingot just needs lithium, and we got lithium for days, too. Actually, we're surprisingly low on titanium. There's the ruby covered. We should also build, uh, we should build a grow bed outside our base. Let's transplant some, like, strange flora and fauna in here so that we can kill the native species and replace them with an invasive and destructive species. It'll be like when they imported cane toads into Australia. I want to create the next cane toad menace. So I know what an exterior grow bed There we go. And let's plant some stuff in it. Like you and you, and then you, 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 and you. Perfect. I'm destroying an ecosystem, chat. Look at me. Woohoo. All right, so we need a titanium ingot, and then we need to turn that titanium ingot into a plasteel ingot, which we should be able to do just immediately because we have all the lithium ever. So give me the plasteel. And then if we take three rubies, we should be able to make the Cyclops death module. What do we need to upgrade the death module? Once we have the Mark I, we need another plasteel ingot and three nickel. So we're going to need more titanium, actually. Titanium is not difficult to obtain. I'm just going to grab the prawn suit really quickly because it'll mine it much faster than we can. Where does this go? Huh. Didn't even know this part of the ship existed. Since that room routinely floods with water, I mean, it seems like a good idea to just go ahead and keep those closed. Why do those doors even exist? This compartment floods with water constantly. Why would we want those doors there at all? That just seems like asking for trouble, really. Wasn't there a titanium node over here somewhere that we didn't mine? I know there's one around here, like, in a very near vicinity. I just don't remember precisely where. There's quartz. Piss off. Don't make me get the drill arm out. All right, you ask for it. Get drilled. I told you. Oh, good, I'm dying of thirst. Actually, don't I have water in my inventory yet here? Fluid intake sword. I know there's a titanium node around here somewhere, chat. Was he coming back for more? You want me to drill you in the face again? Everybody wants you to drill him in the face again, Pete. It's what they live for. Come on, let's dance, chump. Yeah, I didn't think you wanted any. There's a truckload of ruby over here, but we don't need it. Here's titanium. Oh, that's lead. God damn it. You're titanium? Are you also stupid lead? You're also stupid lead. You're titanium. There it is. Are you going to come over here and make me drill your face? I'm a man in a giant robotic drill suit. You do not want to mess with me. Did you ever see Aliens where the alien queen gets its shit pushed in by Ellen Ripley? Yeah, that was only possible because of that loader. 
And boy, isn't it a good thing Ripley had to learn how to drive one of those when she got her flight license revoked, huh? That's quality Chekhov's gunning right there. Okay, so we have drilled all of the titanium. Possibly we're going to have to drill that thing in the face. But not yet. So back to base, we make another titanium ingot. We should be able to upgrade this bad boy. Get our depth to going for the Cyclops. 